All right, so what is up you guys? And we are out here once again working on the 240. And in this video, we're most definitely trying to get this thing running and on the road today. So um, basically we're just buttoning up the little things. We found out that one of my injectors was actually leaking. Uh, just like I told you in the last video, you wanna make sure you lube up everything. But it just seems that the O-rings that we had on there, we didn't swap them out or anything. So they were just really old and deteriorated. So one of them ripped and now I have a leaking injector. So basically got new O-rings, not for all of them, but just for the leaking ones. And then I got like some extra ones just in case some other ones wanna start leaking too. Um, so I'll swap that out. And then I basically just gotta plug off some vacuum lines, like the vacuum line that went to the blow off valve and to my boost controller, just plug those up because I don't need those anymore, um, for right now at least. And just basically redo my wiring for the mass airflow because that's just twist tied, like I just twist tied the wires together and then put some electrical tape on it. So they're not the best, um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing right now, just buttoning up everything and then it should be back on the road. Probably do an oil change here soon, like not today, but because of that leak injector, it's probably got some fuel in the oil and stuff, and that's not really good. That's how a lot of KA guys end up actually putting a hole in their block, so I'm not trying to do that. So, yeah, that's basically the gist of this video. I'm getting my car on the road. Alright, so this is the injector that I was using. That bottom one's like all ripped up supposed to look like this like nice and smooth and rounded but as you see it's all jacked up so we're about to swap that out and then pop it right back in and it should be good So we got the injector in, um, it should be good, but if we have like some misfiring issues or the car's running super rich, then we might have another injector leaking, but we're gonna say it's good right now. And then if some problems occur, then we'll just know where to check. Down here, we got the mass airflow already wired up and everything. All I did was just put these butt connectors down here. That's all I've done right now. So, it's all cleaned up. It's not just twist tied with some electrical tape anymore. So, that should be good. And now, all I have to do is just plug off some of the vacuum ports. Basically, just the boost controller and the blow off valve, what used to be the blow off valve one. So, once I do that, um, most of everything should be complete, so except for these, the intake pipe, and then I need like a filter eventually. But other than that, the car should be back and ready to go on the road. So let's do this. tighten this thing up but if you guys have noticed I'm not sure if you guys have or not um, we're filming on my phone because my girlfriend forgot to charge the batteries on the camera oh whatever <laughs> 
because she saw that as such a hassle for me to charge batteries. So she offered to take <laughs> over charging all the cameras. That was for events, not for this. She's trying to make excuses now. You hear that? Whatever. I did forget about that. I think that's about it, you guys. So all I gotta do is zip tie a couple things, just so it's out of the fan's way. But as far as like wiring and all the other stuff and capping off stuff, I think we got a running KA24DE. Now that I got that all done, just keep this rolling. I'm gonna try and start the car up for you guys, but not for too long because we got Jose. Jose's baby inside the house. I'm probably trying to sleep right now, so I'm not trying to wake her up. See? And it's on cylinder one still. So I'm about to pull. I'm about to pull that inject the uh, fuel rail off right fast and check and see if there's a leaky injector still there. And uh, if it is, then I'm just going to end up swapping out or checking the O rings again and probably swapping that the other set of new O rings onto it. I'm not sure why I'd rip. Like it's brand spanking new and I lubed it up again, but uh, I don't know. We'll just check it out right fast. All right, you guys. So I have my fuel rail like lifted up. It's lifted up above. So the injectors go right there where that little circle thing is down there. If you guys can see that, it's like a cylinder. Um, so that's the first cylinder. I'm going to turn the ignition on for the car. And if you guys see any fluid squirting out, then that means we got a leaky injector. So, babe, could you just turn the ignition on my car? Thank you. Let's see. Should put the turn it. Oh, you see that, guys? It's leaking out. That's a leaky injector again. All right, turn it off, babe. All right, so I guess I'm going to have to pull this thing back out again and check and see if it's ripped. I don't think it's ripped, but I don't know. We'll find out. Alright you guys, so I just took the injector out, it looks fine, there's no rips on the o-ring, and uh, I just basically re it up, put it back in, and I'm about to start the car, and listen for a misfire, so 